Hi, this is uh, KX125, dude, and I'm going to show you how to get your videos from your Xbox to your computer. I've had a lot of people say that this is a capture card, but it's a tuner card. It uses uh, a card that tunes into TV channels. It's not usually used for recording. Some programs have recording features, but I do agree this is something like a capture card. But a lot of people have these and don't know you can use them to copy videos so what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to open up Internet Explorer just gonna close that um, then you're gonna to want to go uh, to Google and you're gonna to want to go DS caller oops my bad that's what you get for typing too fast okay you're gonna to want to go to the second one down which is DS caller for news and download now, my other Torch Rail had version 4.1.8 in it, but I'm gonna. I figured out that 4.1.15 is better, so we're gonna download that. Um, just download it and install it. I've already got it, so I'm not gonna go through that again. Okay, so once you have DS Color, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your Internet Explorer again. Uh, you're going to want to Google Video DVD Maker Free, spaces in between every letter. You're going to press Search. It should be the first one there. Protected Soft, Video DVD Maker Free, Final Burner, DVD, 2AVI Ripper, YouTube Video 2 Video. <clears throat> Top left hand corner of their website, there they have their home products, download, buy news. Just click on the download. Um, Final Burner, Video DVD Maker. Right under that, where it says download video DVD maker, it says name, there's pro, and then there's free. Um, if you want to buy the pro, go ahead, but like I said, you don't want to spend any money on this, so we'll just kind of use the free version. It's pretty good. Just click run or save. Okay, so now we're going to open up DS Color, okay? Um, you can't see the input that my screen's doing right now because Hypercam doesn't allow me to see that. Uh, Fraps does. But uh, I this version, you don't need fraps to record anymore. Um, I figured out a way to do it, but it's really dangerous if you click the wrong settings. So you have to pay very good attention. Um, find your tuner card and sources. Uh, for, well, for when you first install it, it's going to ask you to do a bunch of install and stuff. Just do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, find your uh, your TV card, tuner card. It's around here somewhere. It's usually down the list. I'm going to click on mine. Um, I've already got mine set up as the composite, but for your inputs, uh, DS show, um, video input, uh, if you want to watch TV, it's under tuner, but if you have it hooked up to your computer for your Xbox, it's under video composite, it should be your first one, depending if your Xbox is plugged in the front or back of your computer, um, but mine's on the back, so it's that one, um, it's dark, oh, you can't see it, my thing, but uh, I'll do a video to demonstrate. Um, okay, you're gonna want to find your audio input. It should already be on here, but audio line or audio tuner, depending on what your tuner likes. Uh, the channels usually are already set up. But the new feature about this that I like is you don't need fraps anymore. But for some reason, I think I could probably figure it out is the sound, um, getting the sound to record. But you're just gonna go to actions. Uh, it's the third one from the right or from the left. Um, you can hit record automatically, but you're gonna want to go options first and set it up. So you're gonna go options. Uh, do not do not meddle around with the guy the thing in the audio mixer setup. Um, that's what can disable your sound for your card. Um, just don't mess around with this at all. Okay, uh, now that we got that passed, you're going to want to go down here. Make sure this is on full height, under recording height. Otherwise, your video will be really small and wide, or really wide and, uh, or really, like, short and wide, or it'll be really, uh, skinny and tall. And, um, recording format, it all depends on what, where you live and what kind of capture card you, or, uh, well, we'll call it a capture card so that makes other people happy. But it's really just a tuner card. Um, RGB. Uh, more compatible, it's slower, but it's more for the better computers. But if you want to do this, you should have a good computer anyways, otherwise this probably will not work, but your computer's probably good because it's a media center computer, and usually those have good 
cards in them and processors. So you're just gonna press OK. Um, now you're gonna go actions, record, shift nine to start, shift S or shift nine, sorry, shift R to start, shift S to stop. Um, right now I'm recording my desktop or my dashboard, sorry. I'll do a little thing. Actually, well, while I'm waiting for the film, I can show you how to fix the sound problem that you probably had earlier when you were trying my other tour trial. What I figured out is that if you click on your sound mixer, open volume mixer, and uh, you have to have DS Caller open for this, by the way. Um, you open up the volume mixer, and see where it says DS Caller? If that sound is below this sound, it will be muted. So you want to like go up like that for it. Uh, it's real loud now. My bad. So, but well, you can hear the sound from my Xbox. See, I've got it working again. So now I'm gonna press Shift S to stop recording. Oh, I'm gonna click on DS color first. My bad. There, stop recording. Now. I'm going to add this video in using my editor so you can see it while I was talking about it because you can't see it in DS Color because Hypercam doesn't capture what DS Color does. Um, once again with the sound mixer, I'll get a little more clear on this one. My computer's fucked up for some reason it, there, see. Um, this one is the one, the far right one is the one you want to switch up and down if your sound was muted from your card when you switch the video mixer settings in DS Color. Um, make sure your other sounds are up too. A lot of the time it will do that. Make sure none of them are muted. Uh, you can just exit that once it works. You will not believe how long it took me to figure that out. Um, now, you're pretty much done, but if you want a really high quality video that has no sound, but you can add the sound using DS Color, there's two programs I found that work really well. DVD uh, Maker, which I'm not going to go through elaborately because it's really easy to use. And then there's another one called Virtual Dub. Um, I found this using the DS Color help function. Um, oops. Just Google it. Uh, it's right at the top. It's .org, virtualdub.org. Um, it's, I've tested it with AVG and, uh, Windows Live 1K, so it's safe. Just go to the download thing under navigation, it's the third one down, uh, virtual dub at SourceForge, and just follow that. Once you download it, it's pretty self-explanatory how to use. Like, um, if I can even find it, I forget where I have it here. Uh, here it is. Uh, there's no install, it's just an application that has, uh, runs from your desktop, it's a core application. Um, thing I found with this was a little hard to figure out because I didn't really ask anybody is to get your capture card up you go down to you go file uh, capture AVI um, then you have to go to your device and pick your tuner card and your tuner input channel um, oh my bad sorry uh, sh uh, why isn't it showing oh that's because I have DS color open my bad uh, just open up virtual dub again for some reason when you use this though, um, I don't know if it's just because I'm running Vista, but uh, it uh, when you record it, it doesn't record the sound and you can't open it in GOM player or Windows Media player, but I think it's just because I'm on Vista and I don't have the right codec for it. Uh, it's not rated to run on Vista properly, um, but you can use this program too, it runs really well, it captures with no lag at all, um, so that's it pretty much and then if you want to edit your video edit your video but uh, I'm pretty sure if you're smart enough you can find some pretty good editors out there for free um that's pretty much it uh, I hope you guys use this or it was helpful and yeah subscribe <laughs>